hello guys welcome back to app sheet tutorial so today we're going to see about date and time expressions so app sheet has a lot of functions in date and time so in this video we're going to see about the basic uh, date and time functions which we will mostly use for the app development so we can see about now today and time now and we can see about the weekday how we can use this weekday to find out the saturday sunday monday using this function okay let's get started with this demo app so we'll understand better so basically today function which will really returns the date of today so today is june 20 to 2021 so the today function will give this output of today's date so create a new sheet of this demo yeah i'm creating a new sheet for this demo so here you can give me some date function. this is on it and for finding the weekday value we can use day so now let's add this new table here and refresh this Google Drive. So date and expression number. So this column we have date function and we date names. Okay, so we can use the initial value so since this is a date function. So by recognizing the name date, app sheet automatically uh, added the initial value expression as today, which means it will return the today's date. Okay, so we'll set this out. this we can add a new view okay. we'll make it as menu view this one because we have already a lot of views here so you can check my previous videos i have explained all these expressions and that means which show a okay so yeah in this menu view clicking and see so it's returning the today's date 26 25 using the function there and what if the now expression will return is so instead of today i'm using now so now expression is basically it returns today's date with time also. So if I save this here, okay. date with time, that is the use of the now expression. I'm saving this. Okay. 
go to the team view. Let's save this expression now. Oops, the time is not in here. Okay, so I made a mistake. The type should be the date and time because since this will return time also, we need to make it date and time. See here. So now good. I'm saving this. Actually, the time should return here is 10:52 p.m. here. Okay. See here. So it will give the today's date and time okay with seconds now we can use this function called weekday so weekday means it will identify the name of uh, it will return a number for the today's day of the week so today is sunday for me so it will return the number seven Sorry, it will return the number one because it starts with Sunday as a one. It's a Monday, it will give a two number. If it's a Tuesday, it will throw, give the number three. So it's uh, like consecutive days and the Saturday is number seven. Okay. So now I'm going to use this weekday function to identify today's today's day. So here we can use this formula also but formula means you can't able to edit it so if you give the it in initial value so initially when you're creating this form it will give this function value and later on if you want you can edit it but if you give in the formula function so now i'm going to give this within formula function so you can't able to edit it So that is the difference between initial and function column. Okay. The expression is valid, but its result type is number. Okay. So actually, the weekday function will give the output as a number. Okay. But our column type is date time. So we need to change this as to the number. Okay. And now. Let's test this. Today's big day should come as one because today is Sunday. So we should come here. Let's debug this issue. So what happened is the column name date function is not getting the point. Okay, so initial value we have set now. So it's an issue. And uh, yeah, so another issue is so the key column deep function cannot use an app formula, the app formula will be removed. Which means so since this date function is represented as key value, so key value should not use any formula that's why it, it removed automatically so let's make this row number as key value okay and we'll remove this as key and then we can use this formula because formula will change every time so key value should be constant so it should not change in this spreadsheet if the formula changes the key value the whole see the database structure will get collapsed so every sheet has its own key value so in this, I have given this row number one, two, three, four, five as a key value. Mm -hmm. Row number as key value. So then we can use the formula for the non-key values. Oops. And we'll remove this initial value. Now let's set this. So you should remember you should not use any formula. Key value can use initial value like unique ID function, which will give the unique ID for this key value. So 
other than other other columns we can use formula if it's not given yes so see the date function is came one and since it's one means it's not looking good right so we can give the weekday names as a formula so how we can do this so we have seen in our previous video switch expression right so we can use the switch expression to convert this number to the weekday names so switch expression type expression column is date function and comma if it's one means you can give sunday okay if it's two means can give monday oops three means sunday monday tuesday So yeah, the switch expression will evaluate the date function. So we can use this row. This row's date function value. So if it's one means Sunday, two means Monday, three Tuesday, four Wednesday, five Thursday, six Friday, seven Saturday. Let's try this. Yes. Okay, default is set. So finally, we have to give one default this switch expression yeah so then now the date function one is sunday okay. and we can make it as more dynamic way by giving the uh, okay how we can do this like we can make this as a date and weekday names. So how we will change this as a date function or a date type. And we can make this as weekday. Days of wrong time, okay. Mm, because just now we changed with the state function. What does it mean? Is so we will remove this today formula, then we can make it as initial value today so that we can edit and check. So I need this as initial function today, so we will get the today's date. And we can get the respective weekday names. So let's save this. Let's this out. Let's 
so I did blank in it. So if you see here, so the date function now we can able to change because we change it to initial value and I am checking to to the mistake. Press enter. Okay, so I'm sure it's there. So what in here? Let me see. Okay, some issue is here. The debug paper issue. Okay. Everything seems good. Let's try to save this and we'll check this in daytime expression. this video and then we try to because it's taking the initial today values and showing every time today as Sunday even if we change so let's try this and have it here please check your day now Somehow it's not translating. Let's remove this row because okay. let's try it out. Maybe sometimes this row will won't work. Because we are using the overwrapping detail function. That's why it's not working properly. Please look at it. See, now it's working fine. Uh, 21 is Monday and 22 is Tuesday. Saturday. Yeah, it's working fine. And the issue is here using the this row. Because uh, this row dot when date function will give the first value what we have in this row. So initially whatever we have it will showing only one output based on it. The, even if we change any other value. So if we remove this this row, the date function, whatever value has date function, it will change automatically. Sorry, dynamically. Okay guys. So this is the basic overview of date functions, date time expression. And in our upcoming videos, we can see the advanced expressions like end of month. And we can calculate the first day of the first month. And we have we can play a lot with these functions. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. And check out our upcoming videos. And the next video, we can look into uh, dereference expressions. Okay, guys. Okay. Thanks for watching.